Metoclopramide is a drug used to treat nausea, gastroparesis, and GERD. You might recognize this drug by its trade name, Reglan. In this mnemonic video, we'll cover important facts about metoclopramide so you'll be ready come test day. In today's scene, I'm taking you with me rock climbing on a remote mountain where my partner and I are gathering specimens for our science experiments. While he's setting up our experiment down below, I'm climbing and putting all my trust in this metal clip. If you're familiar with rock climbing at all, you probably recognize a clip like this. By the way, let's use this metal clip as our anchor for the drug metoclopramide. Metal clip for metoclopramide. Get it? You can even think of it as metal clipramide if that helps. Metoclopramide is often called by its brand name, Reglan, but remember that the NCLEX will always use generic names. When you see or hear the name metoclopramide, think of this metal clip to come back to this scene. From my angle, it's kind of hard to see exactly what's going on down below, but even I can tell that my partner doesn't look very good. He has a super green face, like he's feeling nauseous and is about to vomit. Good thinking, he's cracking open a can of ginger ale. You know, since ginger ale is thought to be the remedy for an upset stomach. So the way my partner is using ginger ale to treat his nausea reminds me of how metoclopramide is also given to treat nausea and vomiting, especially for post-operative or chemotherapy-related nausea. On my climb, I brought with me a water skin full of water. After all, you can never be too prepared out here in the wilderness. Unfortunately, I forgot to tighten the valve, so the full water skin is emptying out the bottom. Hey, doesn't the shape of this water skin remind you of the stomach? Let this full stomach-shaped water skin symbolize gastroparesis. Gastroparesis is the fancy term for delayed gastric emptying, which just means that the stomach has difficulty emptying. But in this case, since the full stomach-shaped water skin is emptying out, you can remember that metoclopramide treats gastroparesis by emptying the stomach. In other words, metoclopramide promotes contract of the stomach to empty its contents forward into the intestines. Make sense? While setting up our testing station, my partner pulled out a beaker full of bubbling acid. The acid started bubbling up to the point where it threatened to overflow, but luckily my partner was able to cap the top of the beaker just in time. Not before the smell reached him though. I guess that's what is making him so nauseous. Here at Pixarize, we use a beaker of acid spurting upwards to symbolize gastroesophageal reflux disease, abbreviated GERD. Let me explain. Think of the base of this beaker as the stomach and the neck of the beaker as the esophagus. Can you picture that? Well, just like the acid is spurting up the narrow part of the beaker, GERD is when stomach acid spurts up the esophagus, causing a burning sensation that we call heartburn. So when you think of my partner stopping the spurting of the acid, Acid, use that to remind you that metoclopramide is also used to treat reflux. Now that we know the clinical uses of metoclopramide, there's just one major side effect to touch on before we wrap up. Climbing requires a lot of energy, so we planned ahead and brought ourselves a post-climb snack, some tarts. Yum, I'm licking my lips just thinking about them. For convenience's sake, we brought them in this EPS delivery box so that they wouldn't get smashed while climbing. Here at Pixarize, we use EPS to symbolize extrapyramidal symptoms, abbreviated EPS. Metoclopramide may cause extrapyramidal symptoms, especially tardive dyskinesia. This is where the tarts come in. Tarts for tardive dyskinesia, get it? Tardive dyskinesia is characterized by involuntary repetitive movements of the face and mouth, like lip smacking and tongue rolling. That's why I'm licking my lips here. Make sense? We actually have a whole dedicated scene to EPS and its treatments. You should check it out if you want to learn more. Just know that the onset of EPS or tardive dyskinesia should warrant lowering the dose or stopping the medication altogether. All right, that's all for this video on metoclopramide. Let's recap. Metoclopramide is a medication used to treat nausea and vomiting, gastroparesis, and gastroesophageal reflux, or GERD. Side effects of metoclopramide include extrapyramidal symptoms, or EPS, which classically include tardive dyskinesia, a symptom characterized by uncontrollable lip smacking and tongue rolling. And now that we're actually done with metoclopramide, let's eat some of those tarts. See you next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.